Hello and welcome to a new tutorial series designed to demystify the Yamaha Montage, Modi-X and Montage M. Whether you're new to these instruments or if you've owned one of them for some time and are looking to learn more about them, this step-by-step -step guide should help you to get started or to deepen your knowledge. I'm going to be using an original montage here because most of the principles I'll be explaining are the same on all the synths in this family, but where there are distinct differences, I'll call them out. In this first video, I'm going to start with the absolute basics of how to find and arrange patches, which in montage world are called performances. When you first start up your synthesizer, the first screen you'll see is the live set page, where groups of up to 16 performances can be arranged however you like. There are multiple banks of live sets, and each live set can have multiple pages, which you can access either using the controls on the touchscreen or on the montage synthesizers, you can use the button grid to access banks and pages. To select and play a performance, simply click on it and it's ready to play immediately without having to drop to the performance interface. The currently active performance is shown at the bottom of the screen, even if that performance is not part of the currently active live set page. Both the current performance and all other performances on the page are shown with a selection of icons which tell you something about the performance. One of those icons is the SSS icon which stands for seamless sound switching. Seamless sound switching means that the performance is capable of continuing to play after you select the next patch. You can still hear the Pearly Gates performance playing in the background as I have the sustain pedal held. However, you should note that seamless sound switching only works from one performance to the next. So if I maintain this performance, start the next one, and then select a third performance, the sound from the first performance will be cut. On montage, seamless sound switching works with performances containing up to eight parts, and on Modiex, you're limited to four. If you want to find sounds that haven't been added to live sets, you can open the category search view. From here, you have access to all the performances stored on the synthesizer, and there are many thousands. You can filter the list by bank, or by attribute, or you can search for titles of performances using text. You can also select categories and subcategories. And on the montage family of synthesizers, these controls are replicated on the button grid. I'm going to find a rock and pop piano, which brings up this list of performances. And if I want to hear those, I can simply select one and press the audition button. If you find a performance that you particularly like, you can add it to your favourites list by pressing the set button under the favourites section of the touchscreen, which adds a star to the performance. You can then filter the list to only show favourites. And now regardless of performance, kind, all of your favourites will be listed. Now that we've found a performance that we like, let's add it to our own live set. To do this, we press Shift and Live Set with the performance selected. I'm now going to find an empty slot, and you'll see that I have a flashing cursor. I'm going to move the flashing cursor to the first slot and click again, and the performance has been added to this live set page. Let's do the same with a few more performances.
once you find a performance you like, shift and live set again to enter the register page and click again on the flashing cursor. When you have some sounds in your live set page, you may want to rearrange them. To do so, press the edit button, and then you can use the swap command to swap any pairs of performance slots. You can also swap with empty slots. If you want additional copies of that performance, use the copy button and click on the new slot. If you wanted to remove anything from the live set, press delete after you've collected a performance to remove it from the live set view. While you're in the edit mode, you can click on the title of the live set page and give it a title. And you can also select any of the performances and assign them a color and a label or description. When you're happy, hit done and your live set page is ready. In the next video, I'll look at the performance home view how to play a performance, how to find out what it can do, and how to use the various controls.